V B N Valich your blog network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great entertainment video blogs, great top ten list of everything and anything video blogs, and tons more. Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites. RVBN, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 5.18 in the afternoon, Bellwick, Massachusetts. It's... Monday, June 19, 2017, 5.18 in the eight afternoon, Bellica, Massachusetts. It's humid, about 84 degrees, some thunder showers nearby. Some of it could be very, very severe. Flash flooding is a possibility. So get your power walks in or get your outdoor activities right now because in a few hours it might be impossible to do. Some news to report on the RVBN News by Do 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 Do. The Arizona Coyotes is parting ways with Captain Shane Doan after 20 seasons. I think Shane Doan wants to chase a Stanley Cup. Also, it's Happy National Martini Day. Top rank. Boxing is moving from HBO to ABC ESPN. So there'll be 25 fights between ESPN and ABC. And prayers to legendary host of The Price is Right, Bob Barker, who was hospitalized briefly after suffering a fall. But Bob Barker is okay now and he's resting comfortably at his house. And that's about it on the news from the RBVBN News. Why do, 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 do. Be back in a flash for my second video blog subject of the day, which will be about the Celtics versus Lakers Best of enem Enemies review from the 31st 30 series on ESPN. I first hear this. Get out. You're so sweet, because they're cute. The more the merrier, go find something to do. I know, I know, I know. Last week, no bus. This action will not be tolerated. BMHS. I don't care about game shows. Want to put a rage on that, Richie? Great quotes. Quotes only on RVBN. Time now is 520 in the afternoon, Bellwick, Massachusetts. I am back. My second video blog subject of the day for Monday, June 19, 2017, is about the Celtics versus Lakers Best of Enemy documentary review from ESPN's 3430, which aired last week, June 13th and 14th, and it was directed by Jim Pod Horowitz. Horowitz. And it was um, produced by Jonathan Hawk. And it was narrated by Donnie Wahlberg, who was a big Celtics fan, an actor, and Ice Cube, the rapper, rapper actor, who was a big LA, fat, LA Lakers fan. And this 3430 series was in three parts. The first part was. The Celtics Lakers rivalry that started back in the beginning of the NBA, focus on the 60s, and eventually it focused on the 70s with the Lakers Celtics di dynasties and the early 80s with like the Lakers and Celtics on meeting. Um, before meeting the NBA Finals in 1984. The second part of Celtics versus Lakers Best of Enemies was the 1984 NBA Finals, all seven games, uh, with, which was an hour. And the third and final like chapter of the Celtics versus Lakers Best of en Enemies documentary was 1985 and 1987 NBA Finals and a lot of old Celtics players and old Lakers players were interviewed for this including Kevin McHale and Larry Bird and Danny Ainge and Quinn Buckner and um, Bill Walton and for the 
Los Angeles Lakers. It was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Magic Johnson and Brian Scott and Pat Riley and A.C. Green and Jamal Wilkes and Bob McAdoo. Plus they had several sports writers who covered the NBA there including Peter May and Mike Carey and Peter Vesey and a few others and also they had former NBA commissioner um, David Stern being interviewed for this um, documentary and also Real Sports host Brian Gumbo and the 30 for 30 Celtics versus like the best of enemies documentary was probably the best of all of the 30 for 30 series they did for ESPN. It went a two night event with like over five hours and it was really really good in my humble opinion telling the history of the Boston Celtics Los Angeles Lakers rivalry from the beginnings of the NBA to the early 1980s on the first part and also like doing the 1984 series NBA Finals the second part and doing 1985 through 1987 NBA Finals for the third and final part they also had archived clips of the games on um, ABC and CBS it was pretty, pretty good. The narration of Donnie Wahlberg and Ice Cube were superb because the two hardcore fans with Donnie as the Celtics and Ice Cube of the Lakers. And, it, and this documentary does not get any better with ESPN Study for 30. You could catch it. They rerun it a lot of times. They're going to probably rerun it several times over the summer on ESPN. And also you can catch it on demand or on the ESPN app. I think the only thing that would top this 30 for 30, in my humble opinion, is the rivalry between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. That should be an ESPN um, 30 for 30 documentary. But that probably would be a multi-part one. It would probably be maybe four or five parts. And I don't think ESPN would do that. But you never know. That's about it on that. I'll be back later. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. With my third and final video blog of the night. Which will be about the top ten best live action children's shows of all time. Like I always say to end these video blogs. Keep calm everybody. I'm a truly better guy. Molly was about the, of WCCO Rocks. And that's nice likes. Elizabeth Hatso so stunning. She's best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome. Amy Linda Church of WBIX Channel of New York. Such a rocking cool. Gus got the best legs in New York. Sit down on. Bob Gibbs of ABC 11. Sweet Southern Action. Best legs in Raleigh, North, North Carolina. Len Clair of WHEH Channel 7. Boston's awesome. It's the best legs in Boston. Heidi Watney of MLB Network has the best legs on the MLB Network. And Michelle Beadle of ESPN. Rocks has the best legs on ESPN. Beadle! Bye now!